everybody. This is MM ASMR. I am finally back with new nails. And yes, my toes are very close to the same. <laughs> Not exact, but very close. Even the little teeny tiny ones. So, I hope you have all been doing well. I'm so sorry that I've been away for so long. It's just uh, been a very busy month. Very good month, but very, very busy. I found out that one of my pieces of art got accepted to be um, exhibited and then kept in the permanent collection of a museum. Not a gallery, but a museum in South Korea. So I've been getting ready for that show. Um, I'm getting ready to ship the art in that. And it's really exciting, but that's like the biggest thing that's happened to me in my career so far. And then um, I've just been involved with a number of other shows, and I've been really busy making three pieces of art that if you guys want to see them, I will show them off at the end of this video. But for now, let's just get straight into the ASMR. So here I have three pens. So what color is this? Red, yep. And this color? Green, mm-hmm. And this color? Blue. So as I said, I have three pens. Oops. One, two, three. So now, between these three, one, two, and three, which one is the darkest? One, two, or three? Two is the darkest. Very good. And between these three pens, one, two, and three, three, two, and one. Which one is the lightest? Mm -hmm. Three is the lightest. Very good. And between these three pens, which one most reminds you of a tree? One, two, or three? Very good. So now I'm going to play a little game I learned from watching um, Ikal ASMR. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And he does, he has a wonderful, beautiful French accent. And he does these great um, eye exams. They're really short videos for the most part. Some of them are longer, but a lot of them are short and they're just wonderful. And I learned this from him. So he inspired this next section. So, I'm going to pick two colors, green and red, because I'm already missing Christmas, even though Easter's coming up and it's Christmas. So we'll do red and green. Now, I am going to tap the towel with the colors. And I want you to tell me, do I tap more with red or do I tap more with green? Pay attention. Pay attention. Here we go. Did I tap more with the red or with the green? With the red. Excellent. Okay. So we'll erase that. Now we'll take the green and the blue. And we'll do the same thing. Do I tap more with the green or with the blue? Let's begin. Do I tap more with the blue or with the green? With the blue. Excellent. So now, what two colors do you see? And which one is closer? The blue. Excellent. Which two colors do you see, and which is closer? The red. Very good. Which two colors do you see, and which is further away? The blue. Very good. And... Tell me, how many times do you see this pen, and what color is this? Red, yep. Tell me how many times you see it go across the screen, so it'll be like one, 
to every time you see it circle across the screen, you count it. So just tell me how many times. Ready? How many times did you count? Ten? Very good. Okay, now this color, what color is this? Okay, and tell me how many times it goes across the screen. Ready? How many times? Six. Very good. And finally, how many times? What color is this? Green. Very good. And you're going to tell me how many times you see it go across the screen. times eight very good so you had absolutely no trouble with this and let me know if you like the little clicking or if you found it kind of annoying just let me know okay so next on the classic smart I have the MN stick the magic Winter, the black paintbrush <laughs> with the silver um, sparkles. And these brushes are so pretty, I've never painted with them. I can't bear to mess them up. <laughs> so anyway, I want you just to tell me what letter and what color you see. So in this case, you would say yellow W. Okay, so just as I point to them, you tell me what letter and color you see. Okay, what is this? A green eye is an igloo, yes. And this one? Mm hmm A yellow J is in jack-o'-lantern. Excellent. And this one? A purple S is in snake. Excellent. And this one? A blue D is in dog. Very good. And this one? A green Z is in zoo. Fantastic. And this one? A red N, yes. N as in narwhal. A narwhal is basically this sea creature that has a horn. It's like a unicorn of the sea, but it's actually a form of whale. So that's very good. How about this one? A yellow M is in monkey. Mm -hmm. And purple A. And hippo. And red sea is in cat. Yeah. How about this one? It's not a letter, but it's a question mark. And what color is it? Green. Very, very good. So you had no trouble with those at all. So now I'm going to ask you some more questions. What color do you see here? It's red, yep. And is this red darker or lighter than this red? It's darker. Very good. And what colors do you see here? Mm hmm Like orange and yellows. Very good. And true or false, this color is lighter than this color. True. Excellent. What colors do you see here? Oops. Sorry, what colors do you see here? Purple, yep. This almost looks brown, I know, but it's actually purple in real life. And true or false, this color is lighter than this color. Mm hmm. False, excellent. What colors do you see here? Yeah, like aquamarine, kind of bluish. A lot of green, though. Aquamarine. And true or false, this color is darker than this color. True. Very good. And we'll give you one more. What colors do you see here? Pink. Yeah. And true or false, there are four different colors on this card. False, because there's only one, two, three. There's only three. Very good. 
So we won't have any big problems. So now that by popular demand, we'll take this fancy cloud shaped card and we'll do some tracing. So watch, I'm gonna do it with the brush part of the MM stick. I want you to watch what I'm tracing and I just want you to tell me what words I spell out and be aware that all the words will be spelled out with capital letters, okay? So let's begin. What word is that? I'll do it one more time. What word? One. Very good. Okay. We'll erase it and we'll do another one. All right. What word was that? We'll do it again. Bear, excellent. We'll erase it and we'll do it again. What word was that? Do it again. The word resume, excellent. Okay, and we'll do another one. Okay. Did you get that one? Did you get that? It was color. Okay. And we'll do one last one. Did you get that? Okay, do it again. Did you get it that time? The word was I. I. All right. And now we'll just trace a little bit on the towel, which I think makes some very nice sounds. But you have to let me know if you like this sound, or if you find it kind of annoying, just let me know. All right. So we'll trace a little bit here. And I won't do letters here, I'll just do shapes here, okay? What shape is that? Was that a heart? Very good. We'll erase and we'll do another shape. What was that? A circle, yep. Yeah. Now watch the circle and I'm going to add to the circle. So, what did that circle become? Do it again. A happy face, yep. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Check mark, yep. And this. And X, yep. And this. An exclamation point. Mm hmm. Yeah. A question mark, yes. What was that? I'll do that again because I kind of messed it up. It's supposed to be a square, but it could have looked like a rectangle, so I don't think I drew it too neat, so I'll fix it by the way. What is that? A triangle. Excellent. So you did very well there, and you had no problems with that. So that is the end of the ASMR portion of this video. If you would like to keep watching to see my art, please stay tuned. If not, um, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a very good night. For those of you that continue to watch, I have three pieces of art that I would like to show you. These are pieces that are going into a show in upstate New York, and they are a set of three that are based on the three graces from mythology. So let us begin with the first one. This is going to be a little bit awkward to show you because I'm on the I'm sitting on the ground here. Um, I will be having another section um, of this video where I will show the art hanging on a wall at the very end. But for now, let me show you the first piece. 
So this one is called Talia's Ecstasy. And it is a sculptural lion and it is all green and pink, all different shades of green, all different shades of pink. And look, there's a little mobile element or a mobile element, however you want to pronounce it, <laughs> that hangs out. So it pops off the wall, oops, it pops off the wall quite a bit. This is about six inches. The box is exactly six by six inches. This pops out of the wall about another six inches. And then you have all these different elements and shapes. So we have here rhinestones. Some of them built right into the clay, via polymer clay and rhinestones, and bottle caps, and little canvases, and eraser tips, and more rhinestones, and glitter that has been secured with clear nail polish, so it won't go anywhere, and layers upon layers of very detailed painting. So this is the first one. It is called Talia's Ecstasy. And in Greek mythology, Talia was the grace uh, that represented, um, she represented Blossom. So there's the first one. Here is the second one. And the second one is called Aglaia's Elation. And this one is the grace that represents beauty. So this one has two little myopia elements. We'll go over this again when you actually see them hanging in the next section. But as you can see, all hand sculpted in all different shades of purple and green. And again, very detailed. And this one also pops out of the wall by many inches. And then finally, the last one called Euphosine's Euphoria and this one is orange it only has one mobile hanging from it and this one really pops out of the wall by quite a long way by I'd say about 5-6 inches also and it's made with a lot of you can see a lot of detail and a lot of polymer clay and a lot of rhinestones. So that's the third one. So let's see if I can put these all together. And again, they don't look great when they're <laughs> not hanging on a wall here. Um, they look much better when they're on a wall. and the orange one seems to be really hard to show off when they're not going on a wall just because the um, the mobile elements are kind of shorter much shorter than the purple one so they don't actually stretch down the full length but there is the entire collection and I would love to know which one you guys like the best do you like the pink one, the purple one, or the orange one the best? And let me know why. Because they are the three graces, I really do hope that somebody buys them as a set. We will see. Um, I like the pink one and the purple one flanking, I mean, excuse me, the pink one and the orange one flanking the purple one. Just because I feel like the purple one is a little bit lower, like it's shorter than the other two. Um, it looks a little bit more simple, even though the design of it, because this is just like a canvas on top of a, it's like a square canvas on top of another square. This one has a more interesting, I think, design aspect to it, but it's a little bit more minimalistic than these two, so I feel like it just complements them nicely. And they look really cool when they hang on a wall, because like, these all come out at different distances, like the rods, so they all kind of just, it looks really trippy when you see them from the side hanging together. 
So this was the Three Graces collection. I hope that you all like it. And please stay tuned for the last part of the video, which actually shows these hanging up on a wall. So once again, thank you for listening, and I wish you all very good dreams. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. So this is my latest series of art. These are all six by six little sculptural wall hangings, and they all have mobile elements. These are based on the three graces. So essentially the pink one is called uh, Talia's Ecstasy. The, and Talia in Greek mythology is the grace of blossom. So that's the pink one. And then the purple one is um, Aglaia's Elation. And that's the purple one there. And in Greek mythology, Aglaia is the grace of beauty. And finally, we have the orange one. And the orange one is called Euphosyne's Euphoria. And that one is the grace of delight. So we have blossom, beauty, and delight. And I'm going to show you all of these a little bit closer. So this is the pink one. And we have this little, um, this little hand sculpted mobile, mobile element, as you can see. And I know the wallpaper is very abstract art too, but that's not part of the art here. So it's all hand sculpted and it does pop out of the wall by a good, oh, I haven't quite measured it yet, but I'd say it pops out of the wall a good six, seven inches. So that is what it looks like from the side. That's the pink one. This little piece just hangs down just like that. And then the purple one actually has uh, two mobiles hanging from it. And they again are hand sculpted and they have little rhinestones worked right into them. Like so. All different shades of green and purple. And in the center here again, very three dimensional. And then finally, we have the orange one. Now, don't mind the yellow you see here. That's just a block I put underneath it um, just to help it stay steady because when it hangs on a wall, like on a proper hook, it will be flat. Because this is hanging on a hook behind the door, it's just a little bit more popped out of the wall than it should be. So anyway, this also has a hand sculpted mobile element. And then it's got all kinds of clay elements and bottle caps and beads lots and lots and lots of three-dimensional polymer clay and rhinestones and as you can see it pops out of the wall quite a distance as well so they all look kind of cool when they're hanging together so I just wanted to show those off and they, once again, this is the um, Three Graces collection. Let me see if I can get a little higher. This is the Three Graces collection and they are all little mobiles. So, or mobile, uh, sculptural wall hangings, mobile elements. And all of them have a theme of green with multi, multi shades of green with one other color. So in this case, pink this case purple, this case orange. And I chose those colors because all of those colors need to be mixed in order to be created. So green is created by mixing blue and yellow. Pink is created by mixing red and white. Purple is created by mixing uh, red and blue or pink and blue, if you wanna like a purple. And then orange is created by mixing yellow and red. So I just kinda of like the theme there. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed these and I wish you a good night.